Grade 3 math, number 99, mass or volume. Now, I don't want to get into a big, long science explanation, but I am going to have to use a little bit of science to explain mass and volume. Now, we have to explain it because we just talked about how the mass of a slice of bread is an ounce, and there's 16 ounces in a pound, and we did volume and said there's 16 ounces in a pint. So what's the difference between mass and volume? Can't they be the same thing? No, they're not. Mass is the density of something. It's the amount of matter inside the object, okay? It's height, how tight all the um, atoms and molecules are inside of that object. And the volume is the size and how much space that object takes up. So look at this. We have a basketball and a bowling ball. They're the same size. They're the same volume. They take up the same amount of space. But a basketball has different mass than a bowling ball. So it's not the weight. Weight is how much gravity is pulling on it to the earth. Okay? Mass is different. Mass is how dense it is. Okay? Think of a bed pillow that's the same size as a slab of concrete. You could take this bed pillow and squish it into a smaller object, couldn't you? You could condense it and squish it down tighter and smaller and get all the air out of it. If you tried to do that to a slab of concrete, you could use some big hard machinery to squeeze it down, but it won't squeeze as much as the bed pillow. Because a slab of concrete has more mass than the bed pillow. Bed pillows filled with air, basketballs filled with air. The bowling ball might have a smidge of air in it, but not like a basketball or a pillow. So, I know this can be confusing, and this starts getting into science, but I needed to explain the difference between mass and volume. A pint of milk is not the same thing as a pound of milk, okay? And if you wanted to measure a pound of flour, it would not be measured in cups, the same as volume. You can go online and find charts, and it'll tell you that it might be, you know, closer to, you know, 20 or 22 ounces for a pound. It depends on what the object is. You'll see charts that say a pound of rice is a different amount than a pound of noodles. So there's a very different definition between mass and volume. And that's the quickest, easiest way I can explain it. Bowling balls in concrete and basketballs in bed pillows. I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about perimeter and the distance around something next.